Now we're going to talk about the GL frustum call and the parameters for it. So we previously talked about GL ortho, and we had just a narrow viewing volume if we had relatively close left, right, top, bottom. So now we're going to be a perspective view. And remember, there's two calls for this. There's GL perspective and there's GL frustum. Frustum lets us specify the left and right parameters. So now we have our, our frustum here. Uh, the formula is different for, for orthographic and perspective that we see over here on the right-hand side. Here's the matrix is going to be produced. So if we move the left, okay, we're changing the shape of this frustum. Now, my, why might you want to do this? Not in your typical game. This typically gets done because I have, I have 3D glasses or I, ha I have some kind of specialized thing that, that I'm trying to do. Well, why would I want to set these to something funny like this? I think the thing that's of interest that I want to show you here is that when I, when I change the near, the shape of this frustum is changing. Why? Because I've specified the left and right as a distance at the near plane. So when I push the near plane out further, then my left and right have stayed constant. Notice this box, this box here, when I move my near plane in and out, this box is staying at a constant size uh, as, it, as it moves. So the far plane behaves in a much more intuitive way. So it's not very common that you're going to specify this way. I think in your code, you're much more likely to use GL perspective, but it's useful to be able to understand what would happen if I wanted to set these parameters and what, and what are the ways that I might set up my projection onto the screen to be something different, right? I can set a really wide angle out on one side. Oh, I'm going to generate something that has a, has a funny look. 